Thank you to all my new subscribers and peace to all my universal family. I'm back with another book review. How to Hustle and Win, Volume 2 by Supreme Understanding. You know, do me a favor and go check out my playlist on my channel that has all my book reviews and check out what I got going on over there. But let's get into it. How to Hustle and Win, Volume 2 by Supreme Understanding. Let's kick it. Before we get started with this book review, let me give you a quick story on how I got this book. Now, a brother by the night that I call OG Al, you know, he was down here and I think he moved up to Atlanta about a year, year and a half ago. But um, one day we was talking and I guess he was observing me and we, we was having dialogue and conversations. And he was like, man, you know, you sound like one of them guys, man. One of them guys that be kicking that knowledge. You know, you ever heard of Supreme Understanding? So, you know, I pulled out my phone and I showed him a picture of uh, me and Supreme Understanding. And, you know, I actually met the God uh, down here in Macon, Georgia. And, you know, he gave me this book, you know, When the World Was Black. Bought this book from him. I think it says, Bearded Hey Rule. Stay righteous. I got into about half of this book so far, so you know it, it'll be a book review on this one also. But OG Al was kind of excited to give it to me, and you know, um, it was one of those gifts that I like to accept because you know, being a black man, it ain't all about just somebody passing you some some weed or you know, y'all indulging in dialogue about a whole bunch of foolishness and debauchery, you know what I'm saying? So, he was excited to give it to me, and you know, I got into it, you know, so much love and respect and salute to OG Al, you know who you are, man. But let's get down in this book. And let me give this book some justice. It's actually called How to Hustle and Win, Rap, Race, and Revolution. And the foreword is by Stickman of um, Dead Press. So with it being rap race or revolution, it'll give you a kind of a little bit of understanding on what's probably going to be talked about in this book. So, you know, um, it was a lot of hip hop references. Well, a lot of hip hop references in this book. Um, it was a lot of um, history. You know, um, it, was, it was some history going on. He was, he was doing a lot of history teachings and, you know, um, some of those things are very, very interesting. You know, we, we like to be, you know, um, knowledgeable on, on all aspects of life, um, you know, and he brought out a, a lot of good things. He paralleled a lot of hip hop things, even a lot of, um, I guess you want to say hip hop conspiracy. And just this book is not all about hip hop, though. Like I said, it has a, a, a lot of history and um, he gave you a lot of um, checklists. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of um, things to do in certain situations, you know, and a lot of stories that correlated to a lot of things in his life. So, you know, with that, a lot of these um, parallels and um, topics and certain things in this book, you know, uh, when it had a lot to do with hip hop. And um, when I met the God Supreme Understanding, I'm I guess we could pro just on the things that he talk about we're in the same age bracket so a lot of this stuff you know um, I already knew and but you know it was just interesting so you know I um, hope everybody knows my favorite rapper he talks about Pimp C yeah man he talks about young Chad Butler you know um, everybody knows who knows me Regardless of the knowledge itself and you know the music that everybody knows that I love listen to and the vibes that I be on My favorite rapper in the whole world Was Pimp C, you know, um, and he was talking about That interview that that infamous part one and part two interview that Pimp C did <laughs> um, Hot 97, you know, um, that was legendary. I should be playing that right now, but I down there got that interview memorized you know what i'm saying <laughs> but he was talking about hip-hop on on this portion and he was talking about the fakes and he was put a lot of ex excerpts from that interview you know so if the popular rappers are fake and the real gangsters are broke 
<laughs> when's the truth gonna be popular again? You know, think about that. But rising power, Pimp C. <laughs> Thirteen money management tips. You know, uh, let me also say this: this book could be useful for a very, very young man. It could be you useful, you know, for people of of our age, you know. But I think uh, this book. You know, it's, it's very informative for, for a very young man. But you know, it, it, it got a lot going on with that. This is also something to do the knowledge to. 10 reasons why we can't come up. You know, um, you know, he goes in detail, you know, apathy, procrastination, you know, and so forth and so on. But do the knowledge to it, you know, it was, um, it, it's a good piece of work. You know, 10 reasons why we can't come up. Uh, number 10, though, was instant gratification. Uh, ain't that something, but go do the knowledge to it. Add this one to your arsenal. Confucius taught that the best course for the righteous man was the middle path. He called it the golden mean. In mathematics, the mean is the average. You know, it goes on to say the middle path is a perfect average because it not only requires moderation and balance, but you must step up your game in most cases to get there. You know, uh, just add that one. You know, that was a good jewel piece of wisdom. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. To the young gods and the young man I doubt. Check this one out. If you wouldn't eat it, then you shouldn't beat it. <laughs> this applies to those of you that eat coochie and those of you who don't. It means if you don't think, it's clean enough to put your face in it. You definitely, you definitely shouldn't have your dick there. I mean, how do you enjoy nervous sex? <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna eat them, but you gonna beat them. You know that's something we be saying in the hood, man. You know I ain't gonna eat them, but but you know I, you know I gonna do it to them. You know that's backwards. You know man, of the elevated mind. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> But if you wouldn't eat it, you should beat it. <laughs> we also had something enough for the sisters. 22 guidelines for women. You know, going to do the knowledge to it. You know, you had a little bit for everybody. 22 uh, guidelines for women. <laughs> I'm going to drop that on somebody and see what they feel about it. But you know, it's cool though, it's cool though. This was interesting when he was talking about money and the power. He was uh, talking about capitalism and socialism. You know, uh, capitalism is all about the accumulation of capital or personal wealth. While socialism, on the other hand, is all about ensuring a fair balance for all. You know, so socialism and capitalism, you know, uh, people don't normally talk about that when you're having your drug-induced conversations about nothing but do the knowledge to capitalism and socialism, you know. Throughout the world, capital is king. Did you know? Let's do the knowledge, you know, peace to the gods. Throughout the world, capital is king. Did you know that 85% of the world's wealth is held by 10% of the people? And 85% of the world's resources are controlled by 10% of the people. Matter of fact, 85% of the world's people are in control, are in control by 10% of the people. You know who that leave. Now you already know you had to put that one in there. Yeah. A law of the Father, Clarence 13 next. And you know, he gave a brief uh, history on a law of the Father. So, you know. Oh, this was also a good gem in the book um, on altruism. You know, um, it could be defined as a, like people call it other different things. And I, I can hear it, you know, being described as other different things. But um, altruism. Altruism is defined as giving or doing for others without expecting anything in return. That's altruism. And you know, he gave an example in the 1700s 
Dr. Samuel Johnson observed, to act with pure benevolence is not possible for finite beings. Human benevolence is mingled with vanity, interest, or some other motive. <laughs> you know, so that was interesting. Well, go do the knowledge on altruism. You know, if you are um, into knowledge yourself and traveling this path, you know, I know you done bumped into that one before. You know, the five stages of consciousness, you know, conscious, subconscious, super conscious, magnetic conscious, and infinite consciousness. You know, go and do the knowledge to that. But you know, um, if you've been around, you know, you know something about that. Okay, now, see, now this is another one that I was interested by when he was talking about the brain. You could tell if somebody is lying by looking at which way their eyes turn just as they're about to answer a question. If left, they're using the left hemisphere to be creative and make something up. If right, they are using the right hemisphere to be logical and remember something the way that it happened. So, oh, man, that's, that's deep. The brain represents 2% of your total body weight. But your brain is, a, is major using approximately 20% of your total oxygen as well as 20% of your blood. In fact, there are about 100,000 miles of blood vessels in the brain. If they were stretched out, they could circle the earth more than four times. But that would be gross, so don't do it. But you know that's interesting when you talk about the brain. Various studies say that the average human brain only uses about 5% of the brain at any given time. Think about that, my man. You already know. Gotta go into the 12 jewels, you know. Uh, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, freedom, justice, equality, food, clothing, shelter, love, peace, and happiness, you know. The 12 jewels, go and check that one out. Do the knowledge to it, man, and you know, get you something to live by. Oh, this this something also that you that you can add to your arsenal and some he talking about the holidays or the hella days, you know, and what these holidays mean. You know, and it was interesting for Valentine's Day all the way throughout the whole year. You know, he was talking about the holidays or the hella days and what they mean. He was also white Jesus. You know he had to, You know how y'all love him. There you go. We were talking about white Jesus and now. <laughs> oh, now this was interesting. When he was talking about roaches, you know, the, the cockroaches, you know what I'm saying? Roaches have survival instincts that are a part of their evolutionary genetic programming. On an individual level, each roach can respond to threats and flee danger much more quickly than humans. But on a collective level, roaches engage in group-based decision-making to ensure the survival of the many. This program decision-making is responsible for complex behavior such as resource allocation. And you know, you, you that that is true though. That is true man, when you're talking about them damn cockroaches. <laughs> oh, this is very, very interesting also. Now, I told you in this book, the brother actually covered a wide range of, of topics. But this was interesting, right? Because I heard it, but, you know, just to see it, it's different. Um, he was talking about the AK-47, you know, the chopper that we love in the hood. You know, um, now I'm finna butcher this name, but... The history of the automatic... Kalishin 47 is named after its inventor, Soviet soldier Mikhail Kalashnikov, and the year it was made was 1947. So the history of the automatic Kalishnikov 47 automatic. Kalishnikov 47 that's the AK-47 and it was named after the inventor the Soviet soldier Mikhail Kalishnikov I probably butchered that and it was made in the year of 1947 so people be talking about them AK-47s and they don't even really know the root of it but that was interesting man he gave a message to
to the white man. It gave you a message. You know, I, when y'all looking at this video, go on and do the knowledge to that, that, that message to the beast, to the white man. Go check it out. He got a message for you. <laughs> it was funny too, though. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a couple more jewels, and you know, I'm gonna wrap it up, and you can go and do your own knowledge to the uh, How to Hustle and Win Volume 2. But it's all in your head. Are you hot, cold, hungry, tired, angry, depressed, worried? Why? It's all in your mind. None of it is actually real. It may feel real, but it's only as real as you allow it to be. Did you just lose your job? Well, that's real, but how you deal with it is up to you. You can choose to be upset about it, or you can choose to be excited about what the future now holds. Most people, unfortunately, choose negative feelings over positive feelings. But you have to understand that there is a chance. You know, that's... that's Take that one there. And he gave me 10 reasons to go to college and 6 reasons not to go to college. You know, but go do the knowledge to this book, man. It was pretty, pretty cool. You know, by uh, Supreme Understanding. What I got in this book, man? I got some brochures from Nubia. You know, I love them. You know, that's one of my favorite clothing designers. You know, I get to put this dollar in another book. Cause that's what normally happens, you know, after I wrap up a book. So overall, this book, it was pretty, pretty cool. But I think since, you know, me and him in, in the same age bracket, some of this stuff, you know, I kind of already knew. And, you know, since I'm on the path of knowledge itself and um, the God Supreme Understanding comes from that angle also. A lot of this stuff, uh, you know, like I said, I already knew, but a lot of this stuff I didn't know. So, you know, um, some of the stuff I went back and did, you know, the knowledge to, and, you know, some of the articles, when I read them, I went back and went and got full context to them. But, you know, um, it's a pretty decent book, you know, How to Hustle and Win, Volume 2 by Supreme Understanding. You know, you can go and check it out. You know, um, I like to read one hour a day. I, I don't really count how many pages I read a day, but within that hour, you know, um, I like to just sit back and chill and, and, and read me a good book, you know, or go back into a book that I've already read. But this is How to Hustle and Win by Supreme Understanding. Like I said, this is volume two. I never read volume one, so a lot of things I probably didn't get because I didn't read volume one. But this is a pretty decent book. I don't think you really have to read volume one unless you just want to go read volume one. But it's a bit of hey, rule, yo. Go check them other videos out. Those some cold, cold pieces. Come on and like and subscribe so you can vibe what you got. Like I said, also, go and um, click on those on my book review playlist and go see what I got going on. This is Bear the Hey Rule. Peace to the gods. Peace to the universal family. And you know, everything is real. Peace. Official, big dog in the yard, voting most likely to murder every birthday I start. So it's the 